Hey, good morning and welcome back everybody. We are in the city of Beverly Hills. I was the only person here a second ago and now cars are passing every which way. It's early morning on Saturday. Uh, today is 825. We're at the Greystone Mansion, somewhere I've been wanting to go for a long time. And it's crazy because it's right off Sunset Strip and it opens in 10 minutes. I saw it last night or a couple days ago and I think I saw it a long time ago on something else, but it's been used in a ton of movies. I was watching Huell Hauser rerun, reruns on YouTube and I just wanted to show it and kind of check it out just because it is such a cool place and uh, uh, one of my favorite movies, There Will Be Blood with Daniel Day-Lewis was filmed here. So let's go check it out. So I just went down to turn around and go back up, but I did see this Doheny Greystone Estate, historic landmark number four, built in 1928, designated 2013. So this is one of the guard shacks right here. As you can see the graystone and the brickwork. And we are in, it's probably a guard car right there when they open up. We are in Beverly Hills, Loma Vista Street. Got the cameras on the corners and Beverly Hills. So before it opens, it looks like this is part of maybe the guest house. This is a 55 bedroom, 46,000 square foot mansion. And I'll try to show you the Greystone Mansion from the street before they open up and let us in. But yeah, this is their view. And back towards me would be overlooking LA skyline. Massive, this is gonna be a treat. And just to show you a little bit of what Mr. Doheny, the company he shared with, look at this, directly across the street. Oh, sorry about that sun glare. That's pretty cool too. Yeah, so we'll head over to the Doheny. So that's the view, we'll walk over there. This is gonna be something really neat for me, but this is just someone else's house, just like in the parking lot. Amazing. So before we head into the gardens and stuff, I just wanna show they do have a payphone. This might be the only one left on planet Earth. And yes, it does have a dial tone. 50 cents local calls, oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm more amazed by the payphone than than the mansion so far. So I gotta figure out one day this was a fountain, but just to give an overview of the Greystone Mansion and some of the history on it. And if you do wanna come up here, it is free. There's a QR code, find out a little bit more information and take a step up here and you can kind of see the local area, Hollywood. All right, let's get to so it. So as you walk in the garden, the main garden, they do have signs here that say photography and video forbidden. I think it's for commercial use since they do use this area so much for uh, filming movies. And we'll get into that a little bit. Look at this old fountain. Here's the park and reservoir. We'll walk up here in a second. But dang, that is something to see. I wish that fountain was working. Another fountain that's off over here. Right down these steps. Lots of courtyards and gardens. Really see everything from here. So as I was saying, they film lots of movies here and you guys might recognize this from TV shows and movies. This is iconic right here of people walking down. I'll go over some of the movies and stuff that was filmed here. But yeah, that is really cool looking and being here is something to see. There's only about five car loads right now. Whoa, oh, this was hidden kind of in the back. This little fountain. It looks like these go all the way down, too. Are they all the same faces? Oh no, the faces change. I hope they get the water going here again. Let's see, we're on the... Yeah, they're all different faces. So these would be really cool when these are running with the spouts. And they're only on the right-hand side of this area. Well, we found the driveway and it looks like it is actually under construction right now. This is where people would pull up Looks almost like the back of the house, so maybe the service entrance. 
So we can't go that way. We're gonna have to head back, I think. All this rock work. I was just saying, can you imagine the, the parties that was going on here with everybody trying to find a place and there's plenty of places to hide. Another fountain with a face over there. I'm not gonna go over there because it says no public access, but up in the stairs that go all the way up to the garden where we just were. This is another section that's getting worked on. I'm not sure what this was, but I know you can rent this area out. So maybe they're having a wedding here. It almost looks like that fills up with water, but really unsure. There's no signs that tell you what it is. Making our way through the Greystone Mansion. Wow, there's a cool fountain. It's one of the main courtyards. Somebody getting a fun pick over there. Probably people, a lot of people. Wouldn't you think they get married over here? Everything. Yeah, this is probably an ideal spot with everything in the background here stand behind here and kind of show you you can definitely hear Huel's voice on these grounds no wonder he he really was in awe and so am I this is a sight to see a little treasure here if you're ever looking for something to do in the hills of Beverly and this is where you'd get married, I gotta figure. So, I was just saying, you can feel the there will be blood and the book oil was written about, I believe it was about this estate and what went on here. Walking down to the mansion right now, I was looking at a little laid rock work and look at this, without my shadow. Someone's footprint, that's a pretty big shoe, but who did that? <laughs> like, can you imagine? You're doing all this beautiful work around here and then somebody Big fat footprint in there, screws up the whole thing. Okay, we well, gotta find our next level down. I believe this way? Yeah, I think so. Easy to get lost here and they don't have many signs. So you can kind of figure it out yourself. Birth of, a, birth of a city from a Spanish rancher to a legendary city. The birth of Beverly Hills is a tale of water, lima beans, oil men, and real estate. Scan here if you wanna see the Beverly Hills experience. It's a little statue here from back in the day. When we're driving in from the main road, I showed that we came up this way and then the parking is actually up to the left. So if somebody can't walk that well, you can have them meet you here or drop them off here and it's right at the house. But I heard the water running up here. Finally, uh, oh, some turtles. Whoa. And... Oh yeah, yeah. Look at these fish going crazy. All these koi. Oh my god. Baby koi, big koi. Lots of baby koi in here. Got a couple turtles over here. There's a big guy. Catching some rays. Oh, there's one right there too. Huh, climbing up. Plenty of, oh, look at that. One of the the real orange ones in there. Yeah, lots of baby so this koi area right here looks like where you would drive in from the other part. And I know they open the mansion first weekend of each month. Here it is. See some of the movies that were filmed there. There will be blood, of course. Very nice courtyards. Oh, here we go. Wow. This is where I'd imagine the car is pulling up. So Ray was just pointing out to me, they got the, this looks like a service quarter area because they have the smaller garages here and then like a house up top. Now restrooms around the side, but wait until we get into this next So you part. gotta figure um, when they were coming in here, coming into the turnabout and then going into the mansion before any party and we'll walk over there next, but check out this fountain. At least this one's running. The faces on everything is so cool. Let's see this guy's face. I think I'm gonna have to make a trip back here. Maybe uh, 
Christmas time. Halloween time would be good too, but I think I'm pretty booked up around that. On the first Saturday and Sunday, like they were saying, they opened this whole place up. So you're allowed to walk through the first floor of everything and really check it out. Wow, so this is where everybody would get dropped off. Oh my goodness, there we go. That's the stuff you wanna see. You can look at the railing. I'm trying to pick it up with my camera in this. Maybe if I shoot over here a little bit more. Wow. Look at the ceiling. If you get, that picks up as well. Very ornate. I'm sure all that is hand carved railings. So this is the area where you pull up. I just want to show that. There's some people walking, so I was kind of fast with my camera, but. Wow. They do have special events on their website too, so if you want to check that so out. We're walking down the side of the house now, and I guess we're going to go to the front, which would be the Doheny view that they had. Nice flowers. Another side entrance. I guess when you have 46,000 square feet, you got to be able to get in and out from time to time. That's the driveway coming up. And we're getting over to the view now. The view looks like it's clearing up in LA right now. So this is a, like I was saying, 55 room, 46,000 square feet, two door style, former residence, is on 16 acres. When it was built, this house cost over 3.1 million. Reminds you of the Hearst Castle. Now it's valued at over $55 million and is in fact one of the most expensive homes in California. There's LA down there, they have quite the view. Wow. And once again, it's free to come visit. They do movies here, uh, movie nights. I know they have a Jerry Lee Lewis movie coming up and you just reserve online. I might cost a couple bucks. It's nothing too expensive, but yeah, you can come out here and watch a movie under the stars. Whoa. Now look at that house. Holy smokes. Where did that pop out of? I'm really enjoying being here and I just want to go over just a couple things. I was looking at what movies were filmed here. So I'll start off with the reason I'm here. Visiting with Huel Hauser, episode 819. Alias, Arrow, Austin Powers, Batman and Robin, Cabin Boy, Columbo, Dark Shadows, Death Becomes Her, Entourage, uh, Flowers in the Attic, Ghostbusters 2, uh, Knight Rider, MacGyver, and the list goes on and on. Rockstar, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, Stripes, The Big Lebowski, The Bodyguard, The Bold and the Beautiful, uh, The Last Tycoon, The Loved One, The Mentalist, The Prestige, The Puppet Master, Social Network was filmed here, The Witches of East Eastwick, the Young and the Restless, and of course, There Will Be Blood with Daniel Day-Lewis. And this place just reeks of that movie all over. It is cool. So that's their lawn. And that was that house that we started at over there. When I was showing you, I think that was 500. That kind of shows just how this house, you know, just that house dwarfs the size of this mansion. And even the chimneys throughout this place. You can kind of see inside there the fireplace and the painting above that and then even the down to the original door handles wow walk around to the front of this place i was also pointing out like so when you arrive you'd be driving up from the street down there coming up here and this place would be all lit up which would be cool and then when you arrive can you imagine coming to a party at this house oh they even have the spotlight up there I'm gonna do a party with this place all lit up. Some more chimneys over here for each of the rooms. I was looking in the windows real quick and look at this. It's like a, maybe there's a mail slot there. 
That is the inside. It's kind of cool looking, even in the reflection with LA behind you. So I'm being a peeping Tom, and look at this one has a little, if anybody knows what those are, tell me. What was that little piece of glass used for next to the lock? But this was the formal dining room in here, which would be really interesting to see as well. Original glass that you can't see through. So if you walk around here too, you can also see, not only do they have restrooms for you to use, but they have Beverly Hills restrooms. That's right, fancy. On the apple seed down here, that's probably pretty nice looking when that's running, so. I'm gonna head up the stairs, go get the car, and wrap this up. So I'm gonna read this real quick from my phone, just so I get it right. February 16th, 1929, four months after Ned Doheny, his wife Lucy, and their five children moved into Greystone, Doheny died in a guest bedroom in a murder-suicide with his secretary, now Hugh Plunkett. The official story indicated that Plunkett murdered Doheny because of a nervous disorder or because of a raise. Others point out Doheny's gun was the murder weapon, and Doheny is not buried in Los Angeles, but he's buried over where Walt Disney is, over in Glendale at Forest Lawn. I'll have to make my way over there one of these days. That seems like there's a weird story to that. Now, Mrs. Doheny lived here until 1955 until she got remarried and then moved along. But yes, five months after moving in here, shot and killed in a murder-suicide? Sounds just like a murder to me, but crazy. Well, that's gonna do it for today from Beverly Hills and from the Greystone Mansion. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below or reach out to me. As always, please consider subscribing. Greystone Mansion, thank you. This is really cool. Really cool free hidden gem up here in the hills. Real easy to get to off the of sunset. So with that being said, I'll see you next time. It's really crazy just even. Like I'm almost back to the car, catching my breath from all the stairs, but with this young lady walking down here. Just to think of all the movies that were shot here. What a picturesque place to, to shoot a scene. I mean, it just really makes the shot very easy to do. And here comes someone else. Cool. Start the fountains, please.